The rich and famous work hard, so naturally they need to play hard too. After all, they might as well celebrate an ever-expanding bank account by having fun. And what better way to do this than throwing and attending some of the most extravagant parties in the world? Today, we're going to explore some of the most exclusive events that the rich and famous have hosted and attended. We'll take a look behind the scenes of some of the most expensive galas and unique birthday parties in the world. Let's get started. Elon Musk isn't a fan of going on vacation. Instead, he rubs shoulders with the wealthy by attending glitzy galas in the US. One such event he attended was an Oscars after party, a soiree that has been hosted by Vanity Fair magazine for decades. In 2014, the Tesla and SpaceX founder made an appearance at the exclusive party. Other attendees included Elton John, Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, Samuel L. Jackson, and Andy Samberg. Musk was infamously photographed at the event with the controversial Ghislaine Maxwell, even though he later denied any connections to her. The cost of a ticket to attend the gala can be pricey. In 2014, journalist Reese Blakely was offered $30,000 for his ticket. By 2020, a pair of tickets was estimated to be worth $105,000. This makes the Vanity Fair event the most expensive Oscar party. Musk can afford it, of course, as he has an estimated net worth of $161.2 billion. Since we mentioned the second richest person in the world, we have to talk about number one. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos is currently the richest person on Earth, with a net worth of $210 billion. Instead of the Oscars, Amazon hosts an after-party for the Golden Globes. At this party in 2018, Bezos was photographed with Marvel stars Chris Hemsworth, Taika Waititi, and Matt Damon. The event was reportedly hosted at the Beverly Hilton. Bezos has also hosted soirees at his $23 million mansion in Washington, D.C. Back in 2020, he hosted the Alfalfa Club at his estate. This exclusive group has members such as Warren Buffett, George W. Bush, and Bill Gates. The members wear gold Olympic-esque medals to symbolize their relationship to the club. Other attendees at this formal event included Ben Stiller and Ivanka Trump. Bezos had only just finished renovating the mansion at the time of the party. From 2016 to 2019, Guests' vehicles parked outside the mansion during parties reportedly received many parking tickets, accumulating to an incredible total of $17,000. Not all lavish parties are hosted by a wealthy individual. Sometimes they can be thrown for the opening of a new hotel. Back in 2008, Atlantis The Palm, based in Dubai, had its opening ceremony. The hotel that reportedly cost $1.5 billion to construct had guests from all over the globe attend the extravagant gala. Among the invitees were Robert De Niro, Charlize Theron, and Michael Jordan. Altogether, there were 2,000 guests. The cost of the opening gala is said to have amounted to $20 million. Four Michelin-starred chefs were in charge of the food, assisted by 500 sous chefs and 1,000 waiters. Around 4,000 lobsters were prepared for the guests. Australian singer Kylie Minogue was even paid to perform at the event. She received £2 million, around $3.7 million at the time, for a 60-minute set. The company, Fireworks by Grucci, which had mounted the fireworks display for the Beijing Olympics in 2008, was hired to put on an incredible show for Atlantis The Palms opening. The budget of $3 million exceeded even the Olympics fireworks cost. The Atlantis The Palm opening gala isn't the only time a big musician was hired for a private function. In July 1996, the Sultan of Brunei, Hassan al Bolkiah, held his 50th birthday party over the course of two weeks. So what does a ruler with an estimated net worth of $28 billion do for his birthday? Well. How about getting the legendary Michael Jackson to perform? Jackson reportedly received a paycheck for $17 million. He performed at the Gerudong Park, which opened at the same time. 
the concert was free for Brunei citizens as a gift from the Sultan. According to some reports, he splashed out $10 million for food and drinks during the event. Even royalty from other nations attended the luxurious event. One such guest was Charles, Prince of Wales. He gave the Sultan a walking stick and a silver box that he painted himself. Altogether, it's believed the Sultan splashed out more than $27 million on the celebration. With inflation, that would be nearly $47 million today. Not every big birthday party has to celebrate a double-figure age. Sometimes a person's first birthday can be a lavish event. Take Jay-Z and Beyonce, who have an estimated net worth of $1.8 billion and $500 million respectively. To celebrate the first birthday of their daughter, Blue Ivy, in 2013, the couple went all out. With a princess theme, the party was decorated with stunning pink and white roses that cost $95,000. Even the cake was worth $2,400. A further $30,000 was spent on costumes, jewelry, and toys for Blue Ivy's friends. For another touch of extravagance, the one-year-old received a custom-made Barbie doll. Created with 160 encrusted diamonds and white gold, the Barbie cost $80,000. From a couple in the music business to a music executive, Britain's Simon Cowell is another celebrity who likes to spend big on milestone birthdays. Considering he has a net worth of $600 million, he can definitely afford to go big. In 2009, the creator of X Factor and American Idol celebrated his 50th birthday. It was partly organized by Sir Philip Green. More on him later. Cowell began by going on vacation to Miami with some of his closest friends. Then at Rotham Park in Barnet, England, the party properly began. Reportedly, Cowell's face was on masks worn by waiters and on the wallpaper. Even the food had his initials. Hundreds of people were calling Cowell to get tickets, but just 376 people received invites. Guests included James Corden, Kate Moss, and Gordon Ramsay. Musicians Leona Lewis, Westlife, and Il Devo performed at the event. Cowell even paid $160,000 to fly in the legendary Earth, Wind & Fire to perform. The party had a 1920s theme and even featured a cabaret act. Guests could quench their thirst with bottles of Cristal Champagne, worth $800 at the time. Cowell received a gift of a Frank Sinatra sculpture that was in the eye of a needle. It was worth $130,000 at the time. Altogether, the party reportedly cost Cowell a cool $1.6 million. One of the guests for Cowell's soiree, who also had her own expensive birthday party, was iconic model Naomi Campbell. With an estimated net worth of $80 million, Campbell wanted to go all out for her 36th birthday in 2006. Over the course of three days, the whole of the Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai was hired out. Just one suite there can cost $123,000 per week. The party had different themes for each of the days, including all white, hip hop, and Brazilian samba. Guests in attendance were supermodels Ava Herzigova and Linda Evangelista, David and Victoria Beckham, as well as designers Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana. The cost of the event, which was hosted by Campbell's then-partner Badr Jafar, was said to have totaled $1.8 million. Today, that'd be the same as $2.4 million. One extended family that loves swanky get-togethers is the Kardashian-Jenner clan. Kanye West and Kim Kardashian have estimated net worths of $1.8 billion and $1 billion respectively. So, for their daughter North's birthday in 2014, they went all out. Dubbed Kid Chella, the outdoor festival allegedly cost $2 million. In 2015, Kris Jenner had her 60th birthday party. The Great Gatsby-inspired event also reportedly cost $2 million. Kylie Jenner arrived wearing an amazing $18,000 Yusef Al Jazmi gown, beaded with over 400,000 Swarovski crystals. 
Kylie's own 21st Barbie-themed birthday in 2018 reportedly cost upwards of $345,000. Considering she has a net worth of $700 million, that's definitely just a drop in the ocean. In 2018, Kanye and Kim went all out on their Christmas party. It was estimated that having their $60 million Hidden Hills estate covered in snow cost $350,000 alone. John Legend even performed. It is estimated he received $500,000 for the gig. Altogether, the Winter Wonderland themed event cost $1.3 million. Since we mentioned him earlier, let's circle back to Sir Philip Green, who is also a keen enthusiast of attending and hosting lavish parties. Green and his wife Christina have a joint net worth of $2.4 billion thanks to their retail empire. So splashing out on soirees doesn't make too much of a dent in their bank balance. In 2002, for his 50th birthday, he held a toga party in Cyprus. There were performances by Tom Jones and Rod Stewart. Altogether, it reportedly cost him $7 million. Looking to go further, for his 55th birthday in 2007, Green selected an exclusive list of 100 guests. They were told to pack bathing suits and instructed to go to Stansted Airport in London, England. They were then surprised with a five-day trip to the Maldives. Guests enjoyed performances by George Michael and Jennifer Lopez. This reportedly cost Green £20 million, nearly $39 million at the time. The rich and famous seem to love spending big bucks on extravagant parties, especially when it comes to those milestone birthdays. Which of these parties would you love to have been invited to? Let us know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe to Insane Luxury for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.